it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today to flip through my planners for the month of July 2019. So I'm excited, let's get started in the classic. All right, so we're going to get started in my classic happy planner. So this is my catch all, everything for me, the house, my life, the kids' lives, my husband's life, everything like that goes in this planner. So it's my, like I said, my catch-all, my work, my workhorse, whatever you want to call it. This is my main planner. Um, this is not the cover that came with it though. The insides are actually the coastal planner and this cover came from Stylish Planner or uh, I think our website is actually now Stylish & Co. Um, I have a link down below that'll save you some money off of your very first order, but she has classic size, mini size, big size, half size. I think she has micro now. She has Erin Condren. I think she has recollections. She's got a ton of planner covers. So I get all of my covers from her. I do want to say that I don't have a currently page here because it is from, um, I split the month up, but yeah. Okay, just want to make sure that it's like straight and centered and everything so you guys can see. So for the monthly spread, when I decorate it, I try to keep things incredibly minimal. So any stickers and washi that you see happen before I started filling everything in, I keep it pretty sparse so that as things come up throughout the month, I can fill it in. So these two things were not planned at the beginning of the month and I filled them in afterwards, didn't use any stickers. The sidebar of my monthly spreads, I use that to keep track of different things that happen every particular day at the exact same time. So for this month, every Wednesday afternoon, we had library. So instead of putting library, 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 library I just put it in the sidebar. Um, but yeah, that was the monthly spread. Not a whole lot of things came up, so it's pretty empty, which is fine. It's how I function with it. So the first week for July is actually the 4th of July. <laughs> and I decided to go with a red, white, and blue spread with some fireworks. Um, all of these fireworks that are up here were actually only two stickers. And I just ended up cutting them up to make them spread out over the course of the entire week. Um, yeah, I I like it. It's it's okay. I, 4th of July colors, like the traditional red, white, and blue, I don't, I don't like using them and I don't know. It's not bad. It was fun to do though. Oh my god, I love this spread. So this was a farmhouse spread. I'm really big into farmhouse. Um, it's probably my favorite sticker book. I think so. Um, so yeah, we... We went with a farmhouse theme. Love how it all turned out. Farmhouse and rose gold. Oh, this one was so much fun to do. My popsicle spread. I really wanted to do a popsicle spread for this summer. Um, I had this sticker that I knew I wanted to use. And I have the food sticker book. And I bought it for my recipe planner. But uh, I don't have a recipe for popsicles. So I would. Ne I, there's no reason why I would use those stickers. So I decided to use them for a spread in my planner. And I love how this turned out. This was so much fun. Ah, I finally went with a pink and yellow spread. I do this every summer. Sometimes I do this a few different spreads over the course of the summer. Um, because for me, pink and yellow, did I say pink and red before? I feel like I did, I don't know. But for me, pink and yellow are just such quintessential summer colors. I needed to use them and it was kind of funny that it took me until the last week of July to finally do a pink and yellow spread. But yeah, that is the last week of July. So that is everything for my classic. And we have the mini. So this one is, and my light is just really shining on it. Here we go. Now you don't have a glare. So this cover is also from Stylish & Co. It is the Bright Side Mini. So this is the planner that had the um, glasses all over it. So I've got a lot of stuff shoved in the front. There we go. Because this planner is actually my on-the-go planner. So it is what I take with me in my purse and I try to keep track of 
all of like our appointments and stuff like that. So I didn't do anything in the sidebar, but normally that's what I do too, is the things that are recurring weekly. So these were the different things that we had going on for the month. Otherwise this spread, and it's only pen, this monthly spread doesn't really get filled in. This was fun to do, but I feel like there's just too much green. This was supposed to be a green and navy spread and there's just not enough navy at all. Um, I think if I would have had more navy, I probably, like, it would have made this pop a lot more. But I I do like what I tried to do. I'm gonna, I don't think I actually would be able to do this again because there's not a whole lot of these two shades in Mambi books. Oh, this one. I loved this spread. So these are Wrong Wrong stickers. I originally was going to go with, like, a rainbow Wrong Wrong scheme and then I saw this sticker and it had basically just greens and blues so I decided to just do a green and blue spread for this week and I love it. I just hands down absolutely love how this turned out. Oh this spread! Okay I love this one too. So this was using a, and this is my first time doing it too, a B6 sticker kit in my mini. So the B6 kit that I got is from Lil Annabelle's Plans and she, um, so it is, like I said, it's a B6, so it's size for a traveler's notebook or the ring bound planners, but it fits so perfectly in this. Now it would have fit better if I hadn't used washi, so that's fine. Um, I did that again this week, so where I used her B6 kit and yeah, it's, it is perfectly sized. I'm going to keep buying her B6 kits for my mini happy planner because it gives you the full or the half and quarter boxes. It gives you the right amount of decorative boxes. So yeah, definitely. And apparently I didn't do any shopping this week. So normally every week I will put checklists in, in different spots. So this one I just ended up handwriting. Um, but those are to keep track of what I need to buy throughout the week. I keep like moving this and trying to center it again, so my apologies. Uh, but apparently this week I didn't need to buy anything, which is nice because I definitely need to chill my, oh, my um, target runs. Apparently I didn't fill this spread in at all. I'm trying to think, something must have happened, but I can't really think about what it was. I believe that I didn't have anything to buy again, um, like target wise. So yeah, I kind of want to go back in and fill this in after the fact because it's kind of sad and lonely, but yikes. All right, so those are my spreads for the month of July. Um, I am going to be doing this again every month, probably within like the first week of the month because that just makes sense. Uh, because doing it at the end of the year is just going to be way too much. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications every time my videos go live so that you will never miss them. Um, and be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I am at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.